Are you struggling with high ping and lag? In this video, I'll show you how to tweak your network settings for a smoother, faster gaming experience. I've got the ultimate fix to reduce ping and boost your network speed. Stay tuned and let's fix your connection now. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. In the first step, guys, search for Delivery Optimization Advanced Settings and open it. Once inside, scroll down to find the Absolute Bandwidth section. Here you'll see options for both measured and unmeasured bandwidth. First, go to the Upload Settings, check both options, and drag them all the way to the left. This minimizes the bandwidth allocated to Windows updates. Also, set the monthly upload limit to the lowest possible value. This background service continuously sends data to Microsoft servers even while gaming, leading to high ping and packet loss. By reducing its bandwidth, you prevent unnecessary network usage during gameplay. Next, in the Absolute Bandwidth section, check the box and limit background update bandwidth to per second. For foreground updates, set it to 5 MB per second to ensure Windows updates download properly when needed. Now, go to the Percentage of Measured Bandwidth section. Check the option to limit background update downloads and drag the setting all the way to the left. This minimizes bandwidth usage. However, for foreground updates, set it to 90% so updates download quickly when you actually need them. These settings will help you optimize your Windows download settings for better gaming performance and a more stable connection. In the next step, guys, right-clicking on the network icon and navigating to network settings. From there, proceed to advanced network settings and then to more network adapter options. Identify the connection you are currently using and disable any unused connections. Then, open properties, and in the list of options, uncheck almost everything except for IPv6, which you may want to keep enabled depending on your needs. Generally, it is safe to disable it. Keep only the first and fourth options enabled for optimal performance. Now, configure the fourth option by clicking on Properties and setting up Cloudflare DNS. To determine the most optimized DNS for your system, open Command Prompt by searching for it in the Windows search bar and running it as an administrator. In the Command Prompt, test connection speeds by typing ping 8.8.88 .8 to check Google DNS and noting the results. Then type ping 1.1.1.1 to test Cloudflare DNS. Compare the results and choose the DNS that provides the lowest latency. If Cloudflare DNS is faster, configure your settings with 1.1.11. If Google DNS performs better, use 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. Once you have identified the best DNS for your connection, apply the settings and click OK to save. To further configure your network, click on Configure at the top to access additional settings. Under the Power Management tab, make sure the option that allows the computer to turn off the device is unchecked. Then, navigate to the Advanced tab and review all available options carefully. Disable settings like Adaptive Interframe Spacing, ARP Offload, and PME as they are linked to power saving modes. Turn off Energy Efficient Ethernet and Flow Control, but leave Gigabit Master Slave Mode and Gigabit Physical Mode set to Auto Detect. Disable, Interrupt, Moderation and Moderation Rate for Improved Performance. In the same tab, disable IPv4 Checksum Offload Jumbo Packet LSO for IPv4 and IPv6 and all other offloading related options as they can cause issues. If you see locally administered address, leave it unchanged. Disable Log Link State Event and set the max number of RSS queues to two. Even if an option for four is available, two is sufficient. Enable Packet Priority and VLAN Disable PTP hardware timestamp and set receive buffers to the highest value supported by your system, such as 2048, 1024, or 512. Ensure RSS is disabled and turn off reduced speed on power down. Additionally, disable software timestamp and set speed and duplex to either auto negotiation or the highest full duplex available. Disable TBO CP checksum offload and configure transmit buffers accordingly. If your receive buffers are set to 1024, adjust transmit buffers to 2048 to maintain balance based on your hardware capabilities. Also, disable UDP checksum offload. After applying these changes, your network connection may temporarily disconnect, but this is normal and should resolve in a few seconds. Now download the Network Optimize Pack onto your PC. You can find this pack on my official website. Once downloaded, extract the folder to your desktop and open it. For the first step, double-click on the registry file and install it on your PC. 
This registry file will disable network throttling, which can significantly improve network speed. To further optimize your network settings, open TCP Optimizer and select the adapter you are using for your internet connection. Once selected, move the slider to the 100 plus Mbps position to ensure the settings are optimized for high speed connections. After that, choose to apply the recommended settings provided by TCP Optimizer, which are pre-configured for optimal performance. Next, locate the auto-tuning feature within TCP Optimizer and disable it. While this feature is designed to optimize data flow, it can sometimes interfere with certain applications or gaming performance. Similarly, disable scaling heuristics, which dynamically adjusts TCP window scaling but may restrict throughput under specific conditions. Then, change the congestion control provider setting from its default value, cubic, to CTCP compound TCP. CTCP enhances performance on high speed and high latency networks by optimizing data transfer rates and minimizing packet loss. Disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, to reduce CPU processing overhead and achieve better stability during high demand scenarios. Set time to live, TTL to 64, which determines how long packets remain active before being discarded. This value is widely used and ensures network traffic consistency across different devices and routers. Additionally, disable features like checksum offloading, chimney offload, and LSO, large send offload. These offloading options, although designed for performance improvement, are often buggy and can cause instability on certain systems. At the same time, enable TCP 1323 timestamps, which enhance TCP performance on high latency connections by supporting window scaling and timestamps. Navigate to the advanced settings section in TCP Optimizer to make further modifications. Set the max connections per server value to 10 to limit simultaneous connections to a single server, preventing congestion while maintaining efficient data transfer. Adjust the local priority and DNS settings based on your specific requirements or the recommended DNS configurations, such as Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. For reliability, set max cyan retransmissions to two to control the number of retries before a connection attempt times out. Finally, disable the network throttling index, which can limit your system's throughput under certain conditions, especially during gaming or streaming. Set the system responsiveness parameter to gaming, which prioritizes low latency and responsiveness ideal for real-time activities where performance is critical. These adjustments will fine-tune your system for optimal network performance and responsiveness. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe.